Hey guys, what's up? It is July 22nd, 2012, and I'm here with my much overdue Best Graphics Cards of July 2012 video. So, to start off the build at the $100 price point, well, actually first, let me update some things. I changed it because $20 over, I went to 30 because I saw that you could gain a lot more power with 30 bucks as opposed to 20 over whatever hundred so I went with that and it's only ten dollars more and most of these have free shipping um so first off oh yeah and also once again none of these rely on rebate prices I'm not tricking you here even though a few of them do have rebates so if you want to save money especially this first one big savings a gigabyte GVR 7770C1GD um, this wins the $100 price point. If you don't know, if you couldn't guess from the title, this is a Radeon 770 gigahertz edition. It's got a nice big fan. It's got a 100 megahertz overclock and maybe an overclock on the memory. I'm not so sure what the default memory speed on a uh, 7770 is, but it's 1250 megahertz if you know. Um, it runs at 5 gigabits a second. Also, this currently is at Newegg for... $90 after a rebate, so you save 30 bucks, which is great if you want to do that, and it has free shipping. Also, I didn't factor in shipping, but I'll mention it when it comes up. So, for the $200 price point, this comes in at $210. Oh, yeah, the last one was $110. No, this is $220, my bad. Um, this current one is the Vision Tech Radeon HD 7852 GB version. So this is GDDR5, it's 2 gigs, which some 7850s on the cheaper side, which are like around 200, only have 1 gig. This one has 2, and that helps a ton, especially at higher resolutions. Let me check something here. I'm going to see. This is, this might not have an overclock, because it's a bit of a stock-ish looking... Okay, they don't say on Newegg whether it haven't, has an overclock. But, I mean, it's a 7870... Not 7870, a 7850, so it performs better than a 560 Ti. It's quieter, it uses less power, it's built on a new architecture, etc, 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 it'll only get better as the drivers get better. Not much else to say. So, for $300 price point, you guys will be surprised by this one, I have the MSI R7950. So this is the twin frozer, frozer, frozer version of the card, so it has their nice MSI's really good cooling technology with dual fans and lots of direct uh, contact heat pipes. It does have a overclock of 80 megahertz on the core clock, so that's always nice. Honestly, there isn't a crap ton of performance over a um, 7850 I found. People found PC Gamer mainly from... No, blah, blah, blah. I was thinking of the 7870. Why was I thinking of this? I am screwing up today. I am so sorry about this. I'll edit this out, maybe. Um... So, it's a 7950, which competes toe-to-toe -to -toe with the $100 or more GTX 670, especially when they're in that constant race on video AMD of drivers, 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 because there was the whole nonsense with the, uh, the um, 7970 being slower than the um, 670, and so that was just... That's bullcrap now, so you can... I mean, the 7970 will perform marginally... Not marginally largely better than a um, 670. So that's great. Um, and that's going to sum it up for this. So we're nice and quiet and nice and cool. For the $400 price point, we have the Asus DirectCU version of the GTX 670 2GB. Finally, we get some NVIDIA in here. Um, it's currently sold out. It runs up at $420. Oh, yeah, the last one was um, $330, by the way. Sorry. This one has free shipping at well. You gotta keep your eye out though, because these are sold out um, a ton, even though I think. It's weird that the 670s are sold out, but the 680s, I think, came back in stock mostly. Because um, my theory always on that was they were having um, harvest or um, harvesting issues with it, or whatever it's called, where part of the die is just misfunctional, so you have to put it in the cut down version. Which is, you know, that's what graphics card manufacturers do. So, we have Max on PC found out this card, because of its extreme overclock of... Wait, 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 wait. No, this isn't the overclock version. Hold on. You fags. 
Yeah, I misclicked there by accident. Um, this is actually ten bucks more than that. It's four hundred and thirty dollars. My bad. Um, they found that because of the radical overclock of this card, core clock, the base clock, not the boost clock, is as fast as the six eighties boost clock. And with how well the current high end generation, like the um, seventy nine thousand series or 7900 series and the um, 600 GTX series cards overclock, that is a massive boost in performance. And then the boost clock is um, 1136 megahertz, 37, my bad. You get an extra megahertz. Um, so it's going to perform as good as a stock GTX 680 while still being 70 bucks cheaper. So honestly, this is the card I would recommend if you were looking to spend 400 plus. The um, other card I recommend, which, spoiler, is a um, 7970 from MSI, is, um, I mean, you're not going to get that much more performance. Higher resolutions because of the extra gig of DDR3, um, my mistake, GDDR5, um, you will get better performance at, like, 1900 by uh, 1200 or, like, 2600 by, uh, what is it, uh, 1600, so, there's something to say there. Because the extra RAM does help as well as more. It does technically have, like... They aren't directly comparable, but NVIDIA... Like NVIDIA and um, AMD cores. But this one does have kind of the more cores than uh, the NVIDIA one. Excuse me. So, for the $500 price point, we had the MSI R7970 Lightning Edition. So, this is overclocked by 105 megahertz, coming in at... 1070 so this will all GNC graphics card next I don't know what the abbreviation was it's their new architecture for AMD and um, they all overclock really good except for really bad ones so which of course they'll stress test this for free um not for free they'll do it before they ship it to you um so these cards are I mean, this one is going to have great performance because the dual fans are one really quiet and has their new, um, whatchamacallit, what is it? Yeah, it has their new GPU reactor technology, which basically means that they, it's a special little thing on the back that helps control the vol voltage so it runs extra efficient with the voltage. And if you want to overclock, like, to, like, 1500 megahertz or something crazy like that, it'll, um, It'll want a lot better. So that's going to sum it up. If you want to spend any more money on this, on graphics cards, which I don't see why the hell you would, um, spend more on overclocked editions of cards, maybe put like two um, 7950s in Crossfire, two 670s, or if you're feeling really crazy, get a uh, 690, because those things are beast, and they look pretty. Even though EVGA is the only one that's selling them, which I'm like, what a bet. Because, um, as nice as EVGA cards are, mm, I'd like to see some dual fan versions of that. Because, you know. I don't see what they can't do with dual graphics cards. Two cards, two fans. Not two cards, one fan. Boom. So, that's going to do it for today's video. Please remember to rate, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And if you have any suggestions or computer questions post them in the comments i've been getting a lot of those uh you can also pm me so on youtube or i do have a gtube account that's of the same name but i don't use it because gtube is stupid and they don't let regular people post videos they're gonna hold that feature off for later which i want to get onto gtube because yeah, youtube's gonna crash eventually um i think at least and uh i want to have my videos somewhere else because all my uh files are getting screwed up and you know, this, this video has gone off long enough you guys know the point good graphics cards good money good fun bye